Well, we are on the go with Joe, and he is at a new business where your kids can have fun all year round. He is live in Tiger to tell us about Leica Indoor Playland. Good morning, Joe. Hey, good morning, guys. So, yes, I'm joined right now by Betty Utas. Good morning, Betty. How are you? Uh, wonderful. So just a few months ago, she opened Leica Indoor Playland, and it is uh, just what it sounds like. Essentially, it's an area for kids, especially younger. You have, what, a couple younger kids, right? How old? I do. I have a five and a three-year-old. So tell me a little bit. We've got a couple youngsters in this room right here. Tell me about the thought behind Leica, kind of what, what you wanted to open here in Tiger. Sure. So I really wanted to open um, an indoor playland. Mm -hmm. um, Ella's first day I realized there were not so many places, you know, um, that we could go to, you know, on a rainy day. So that was sort of the thought behind it. And I'm really into um, open and imaginary play. Um, and we have a lot of low tech, quote unquote, toys here. Um, so that's sort of what I wanted to focus on in this space. Now, you know, it's. Last year, and this was really unfortunate, we had the closing of the Children's Museum. You were actually a big part of the kind of movement to try and save it. Obviously, unfortunately, that wasn't able to happen. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of an answer to like an indoor space that kids can play in. Why do you think it's so important that parents have, you know, places like this? Well, oh, and kids too, and by the kids, way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a place for kids and, you know, the parents, right? Mm -hmm. We really want to focus on both. We want to make sure we didn't leave the parents out. Mm -hmm. So that's why we really focus, you know, on the comfortable seating, you know, fast Wi-Fi, an environment that's you know, more relaxing. Yeah, it's not as traditional play My kids are a little bit older, so they don't necessarily go to these kind of places. But when they were younger, uh, we would go to these, you know, jump around play, and they're fine. But it's a little hectic. It's a little sensory overload. This seems like a little bit calmer, and the kids just kind of like use their imagination and have fun. It's kind of the idea. That's, that's totally right. You know, kids can sit and tinker. You know, because. It's near to five age, you know, kids like to sit and kind of focus on one thing at a time. Um, so this is the place for sure for that. So very muted colors um, in here and again, toys, all natural materials. You know, I was going to say, I noticed like there's almost nothing that's like electronic or battery operated or any of that kind of stuff. It's pretty much just all the kids play with it and, you know, have fun with it on their own, essentially. Okay, one. We'll allow it. Yeah, only one, and I always challenge the kids, you know, to find it, you know, uh -huh. see if they can. Um, so how does it work exactly? Is it basically you just pay per visit? Can you buy a, a whole bunch of visits? How does it work if you want to bring your kids out here? Yeah, so you can come. We're in Tiger mm -hmm. uh, off uh, 217, and we do open play every day, Monday through Friday, and no reservation or anything required. You just swing by and come on over and check in. And uh, all adults must show proof of vaccination when they come in. When we check everyone's temperature. Mm -hmm. um, and on the weekends, we're occasionally open for open play too, but we do birthday parties here. As okay, well. wonderful. So we'll have more information about the Lake Indoor Playground at kptv.com in the As Seen On section. Betty, thank you very much. And guys, a lot more. We've got lots of kiddos having a good time here at Lake And we'll have a lot more coming your way a little bit later in the show. Let's send it back to you. Looks like a neat place. All right, Joe, thank you. Cute little setting.